What's up guys, Jake here. So today, uh, before this video gets started, I have a bunch of video from about a week ago. Uh, it was from last week that I wasn't able to post. So I figured I'd just add it in on this video. So I'm um, pretty sure that uh, this is all, uh, uh, this is all storm footage. We, I'm gonna give you guys some background story. I don't know if it's if I explained it, but uh, we had a day. They were saying on the weather that we we're supposed to get some light showers and uh, possible rumble of thunder. And uh, the uh, out of nowhere, this severe thunderstorm comes in. It pop, I get a message on my phone saying that there's a severe thunderstorm warning here and I'm like okay whatever so that comes in we get hail and we got everything not huge hail but a lot of it so um, we did have hail damage on some of the corn so wasn't that extensive but it was enough so uh, anyways as I think that's pretty much it if there's any more I'll add it in but I think that's all I got for video there so anyways then uh, afterwards we'll resume on what we're doing here clear skies dark skies <laughs> showers today beginning of the day or it's what I heard on the radio and we ended up getting a uh, pea-sized hail so um yeah it's not good uh I'm gonna go check the corn then once the storm is over hopefully we didn't get any damage I don't think pea-sized hail is really gonna do much but you never know oh, this is hail right here see see the rips in there It's all hail damage in here. So we got the combine out, and then we also got the headers out too. Um, I don't know how much work this grain is going to need. Let me here take a look. I don't, I don't really see many bad sickle sections on here. I don't see any. There's a couple here and there that have a couple of dents in them, but really the blades aren't all that bad. So I think we'll be okay with this. Um, just grease her up and oil the chains but uh, we're gonna get this here uh, we're gonna get her uh, that ready to go we got to get the concaves put into here for the wheat and then uh, regular wheat prep so but oh 245 is all 
washed up for the most part and field cultivator is all washed up so one thing about washing these field cultivator and the vertical till is you can't get them perfectly spotless because they uh there's always some bit of dirt on them and they just dirty up we still got i still gotta go in and pressure wash in there yet i want to get that all pressure washed yet but uh yeah sometimes they uh a little bit difficult though all right and one thing i'm gonna do today is take this here and this leaf blower we're gonna take and kind of blow all the cobwebs out off the bottom and along the sides of these walls so they are uh kind of bad so anyways yeah, but we're eventually gonna pressure wash all these walls just get all the shit off of them because you get before mold and all that on them kind of gets a little uh messy but um another thing we're probably gonna do here is maybe put uh gravel in here this up other than this river bottom because there's a lot of rocks and this stuff is so messy um, this stuff is in the back, and it's, there's always moisture back here, but when you get over in here, it's all dusty, and when you clean your equipment off, like this vertical till was spotless, literally spotless, and look at it, so, we're all, there's always traffic through here, so, anyways, much below these, uh, cobwebs out of here. I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about, but see all the dust. So that's uh, that's one thing we don't really like with this this floor, or river bottom, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, but not a huge not a huge thing. Just kind of getting all the cobwebs from hanging from the poles and all that. So. Anyways, so uh, we're just going over the planter right now, um, oiling chains, greasing it up, just making sure everything's uh, good, going through the roll units, and just making sure everything's good, and then we're going to put it away. Um, anyways, alrighty guys, so uh, we are going to take and go over schedule changes here. Um, as I said in the previous video, we are going to... I was going to discuss the schedule changes, so um, we're going to have two videos a week, um, and then there will be a couple weeks here and there that we'll only have one, including this next week, so uh, so that will be Monday to Monday, so I'll, I'll upload tomorrow, which is Monday, and then I'll just video from tomorrow all the way until next Sunday when I edit it so um, Mondays will be one day I put it up and then Fridays will be the other so as I said again Friday on this Friday this upcoming Friday I won't be able to post it so we're gonna take and uh, we're gonna take and uh, upload it on Monday but um, we will have quite a bit of video though we'll have quite a bit of action and all one week 
will be pretty much packed into one video um, and then maybe like four or five days will be packed into one video for the two videos a week so um, there'll be quite the videos will be longer but there'll be a lot of action in them um, so and I'll try to keep them short I want to hopefully keep them under half an hour but if they get over that I'm like big deal you know I'm gonna make make it like I usually make the videos with action and just making sure I get you guys entertainment so so as I said in the last video um, I would take and tell you guys what's going on for the videos this summer so one video I know of we're gonna be doing is wheat we're gonna be doing a lot of fishing and uh, we're just we're gonna be doing a lot of farming stuff as well I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna be doing hay videos I don't know about that um, that's a maybe and then uh, like like the like we did last year you know fertilizing and um, spraying and all that so then we should have uh, we'll have the wheat video hopefully some bar like if we do the vertical tillage on that wheat field or those wheat fields this year um, that's gonna be drone footage in action instead of one clip saying I just finished that field <laughs> so it's a little bit easier to video now since I have auto steer so I don't have to be fiddling with my camera and then trying to steer at the same time so uh, and then it's easier to fly my drone because the combine I, I, I can't drive that when I'm drone trying to shoot so I either have somebody else do it or have somebody else driving the combine so um, I've only let somebody fly my drone once so um, I usually like doing those kinds of things because I know how to, like there's there's the video there's the kind of side the angles that I want to get with it and it's kinda you know I, I, I like doing my own f filming for the most part so unless I'm vlogging like I can have somebody carrying the camera when I'm vlogging so anyways well, that's gonna end it for me, guys. I'm, uh, I have other stuff here that I have to do. I have to finish cleaning up the shop, and then uh, maybe put this stuff away. No, I'm gonna put all this stuff away tomorrow. So, next so I'm running out of footage. So I have about a minute and 12 seconds left. So I'm gonna make this really quick. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Jake Lins. Talk to you guys later. That was quick enough.